Welcome to Guns Gear Network, everyone. Thank you for tuning in today. I'm really excited about this review I'm going to do for you. Um, if you remember, one of my favorite pieces of gear that I did a review about that I got really excited about was the medical roll kit that I uh, got in and did a review about. Well, I'm pretty about as excited about this as I was that because, un but unfortunately, this product is no longer made. So if you're watching this video, you actually may know about this and you're trying to just seek some more information out to see if it's something you want to get. Um, it is it's made by a company that was in business. They were since bought out. Uh, Dosco Sport made this product and it's called the Camp Mate. C-A-M-P-M-A-T-E. And it's basically a portable kitchen, chuck box, whatever you want to call it for camping. And... Um, if you are a big camper, like car camping, that sort of thing, obviously you can't backpack this, but it's more for a base camp setup. This thing is awesome. I've been following this thing and looking at them for like a couple years now, and they're really expensive when you can find them. The cheapest I've seen them is about two to 250, all the way up to 350 plus shipping. And this thing's big, so it's not all that cheap to ship. So I'm gonna give you some dimensions today. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it, what it's made of, how it's made, and a little bit of history about it and then uh, in some future videos I'm going to show you how I set mine up once I get everything kind of organized and set up for uh, my chuck box. So first off it's made of plastic. It's a very heavy duty style plastic. It doesn't feel cheap at all. It does feel like plastic but it doesn't feel cheap. You obviously can tell uh, by looking at the plastic it is a like, kind of a fiber reinforced style plastic. Um, has a lid and the bottom. Go ahead and give you some measurements with the box closed. It's approximately about 23 inches um, wide, long. It's approximately, let's see here, it's approximately mm, 18 inches wide this way, and it is approximately 16 inches um, in height with the lid on. All right, the lid has four snaps, two on this side and two on the other side, and I've unsnapped it just to make it easier for the video. And you have this portion here, which is supposed to double as a sink to wash up your uh, dishes and things that you would have at camp, or at least that's what it can be used for. Uh, you may not want to use something this big or whatever, but it is, that's what you could use it for. All right, so you have the lid, and then you have these two pieces here in the front that fold out and then you have this here on either side that um, what do you do is you bring it around if I can't get all this in frame guys I apologize um, it comes around like this and these wings latch in here and it also comes around and latches there all right so that's what you have once you get it all kind of open is like that all right so if you notice you've got all this space on this side that can be used for like your spices other things uh, like that then you have this pull out drawer that comes completely out so you can wash this that houses flatware when this thing was manufactured and sold they actually it actually came with flatware and silverware and also it came with um, plates and bowls so you have this section here, you have this big open section down here. And just to give you an idea how big this thing is, if we'll go ahead and measure inside here, that's 14, roughly 13 inches, 14 inches of space from the back of this to the front. So there's a lot of space in there that's usable for um, you to uh, store a lot of different things. What I'm going to do is probably put my, uh, I'm going to get a nesting set of pots and pans to go in this section. All right, so then you have these two sections here that slide out, and everything's removable, like I said, so you can uh, wash it. And I've already put a few things in here just to kind of see. I've put a couple knives, sharpener, um, a igniter for my stove, and that sort of thing. So let me put that back in there, put that back in there. Then you have this section down here. It's currently housing the bowls that uh, came with the set. And then over here in this section, right in here, you have a place to put your um, dishes, your uh, plates like this. And it did come with these type plates, these sectioned plates like this. 
Then, if you notice, you have over in this section, you also have another one of these bars that allows you to put things like Pam cooking spray or whatever else, maybe some dishwashing detergent, stuff like that over here that you could house. Now, what's neat about this too is this work area up here is not really a work area. It is designed to put your Coleman stove uh, you know, up here and then you have these little side sections. So this right here with the lid on, you can keep your Coleman stove in this at all times. So that's the why I like it. You can kind of, it's kind of a open it and go. I mean, you don't have to drag everything out. Normally when I camp, especially car camping, I'm having to dig everything out of totes and all that. And it's kind of a pain. With something like this, it's kind of open it up and you're ready to work. And um, if you look on the silverware, I meant to show you, this back section's open here too, so you got that. It also comes with these little hooks. Comes with a set of those. And over here, and I'll show you, over here in behind the wings, you have some hook holes where I can hang things. And it also has it over here. And it also comes with a paper towel holder like that which is really nice. Like I said, it's very thick plastic. It's not, uh, it doesn't feel chintzy to me. So I've already made one modification. I'm gonna go ahead and show you that. This thing originally, see I can do it on this side cause I got a little better lighting. Hang on guys. And um, this thing originally for the handle, it just had this void right here where you kind of can you know, grab underneath it. Because it's so big and bulky, you needed something I felt like that was a better handle. So what I did was I took 550 cord and rubber hose and I created these handles here. Now I can drag it over here easier. I can move it. I can lift it easier, carry it. And I'm not going to lose my grip. Here, if you got wet hands or something, you're trying to load up in a hurry maybe. It's pouring down rain. You're trying to get, you know, camp broke down or something. This right here, it's okay, but it's not the easiest, not like handles. So I've got some dedicated handles now with 550 core and rubber hose, which I think is uh, makes a great handle, by the way. But uh, anyway, guys, I am like really excited. I paid $250 for this um, locally on Craigslist is where I found it. And you just kind of got to look for them. You kind of got to Google some different words, Chuck Box, Campmate, Dosco, whatever. And I've been looking for one of these locally for a couple years now, and either I missed them or they didn't, nobody ever listed one. Well, finally, a guy somewhat local listed one. And he was nice enough to and willing to meet me uh, in a neighboring town, so it cut down on my drive time and things. And he had all the accessories, which was nice, too. But anyway, guys, I'm really excited about this. If you get a chance to find one, I think, uh, again, I hadn't field tested this, but I have yet to hear a negative review from the people that actually own one now after much research and they say hey it's worth the money i know it's expensive a lot of times in the forums like there's some of the expedition forums and some of the outdoor camping style forums everybody recommends these there's one more i'll tell you about it's called beaver tree camp kitchen maybe it's a little different design in my opinion i had a chance to buy one of those there's actually one on ebay currently listed for less money than i paid for this but i felt like this one was the one i really wanted and unfortunately they're not made anymore so that drives the price up because everybody wants them and they're just not out there unfortunately so anyway, guys appreciate you tuning in if you got any questions uh post those below if you have any experience with this uh, unit let us know about it and your opinion on it but uh, yeah guys if you can find you one, I highly recommend probably finding one. As always, guys, appreciate you tuning in. If you would, give us that thumbs up. It's down there in that section over there. If you would, share content. It's over in that section over there. And don't forget, I'm going to do a part two, maybe a part three, uh, but I'm going to do a part two once I kind of get everything organized, show you how I organize mine, and then, you can, uh, then I may do a part three with actually in use in the field. So anyway, guys, appreciate you tuning in. As always, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll bring another video shortly. Have a great day.